Hello National 5, it's Mr Ramsey and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a go at some polytile printing, okay? This is a really good technique to display in the investigation stage of your expressive portfolio. Part of your expressive portfolio is marked on skills alone, okay? So this section has 50 marks and each candidate should provide evidence throughout the expressive portfolio in their ability to respond to a theme or stimulus by creatively using a selection of materials, techniques and technology. Again, they need to try and convey appropriate visual elements and expressive effects. So we are looking for everyone to try and hit that 19 to 25 benchmark, okay? for um, their highly effective use of materials, techniques and technology. And again, it's repeated for another 19 to 25 marks for highly effective use of appropriate visual elements and expressive effects. So today what we're going to do is I'm just using this reference image of a pepper. So my chosen theme, if I was doing this um, as a student, would be the kitchen, okay? So fruits and vegetables are a really good way of capturing texture and line. Um, and again, they have sort of interesting shapes and forms going on um, with regards to other um, media handling techniques. So it might be a tonal drawing that you then progress onto. But like I said, this is a really good way of capturing texture and line. So we're going to do, like I said, some polytail printing. We've got a really good quality reference image here of the inside of a pepper. Now, for the purpose of this video, I have printed it out in color, but I would always recommend printing in black and white purely just to save um, on printing costs, okay? And if you're gonna do quite a few of these, it'll just keep um, everything nice and cheap and cheerful. Okay, so for our first print, what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on line. So we're going to focus on the outline of our pepper. So these nice little curved shapes. Again, we've got some contours that are appearing in the sort of stem of the pepper. And you've got this nice organic shape in the middle. Now, because we're going to do two or three prints, I'm going to actually avoid um, putting in the seeds and some of these little veins that we can see in the center of our pepper, maybe towards the second or third print. But for the first print, we're just going to focus on the um, outline. Okay, National 5, so now that I've taken a few prints of my initial shape, I'm now going to put my reference image back onto my tile. I've just given it a quick wipe down over at the sink. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to add some more details um, like the seeds um, of my pepper. Um, and I'll maybe pick out some more shapes. And again, this will give some um, added sort of layers to my print. Okay, National 5, so I've got three different prints. I've also added some more details to my tile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a play around with some different colored inks. Obviously, I'm not going to use yellow ink on the yellow paper because that would then defeat the purpose um, of building up these layers. So I'm potentially going to go for the orange with the yellow, the yellow with the green, and then I've got this white, which I think will contrast really well with that earthy brown color. Okay, National 5, so as you've just watched, I've had a go at printing some orange ink onto my yellow um, piece of paper. Now, the tile itself was still quite damp, having rinsed off the previous color. So it's not been able to actually pick up 
those details that I've added in because the ink it's mixed in with the the moisture that's been in the tile and it's not really printed uh, a good impression onto it. You can see a slight sort of watermark starting to appear which is fine. I mean this is all part of the development process and experimenting with different techniques. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off to one side. I'm actually going to come back to this once it's dry and maybe have another go at printing a different colour on top. Okay, National 5, so we are on to our final um, mark making. Okay, so you will have noticed at the start of the video I had a little um, pot sat off to the side with various um, things that I had in the classroom. Okay, so we've got things like a knife, uh, I have a craft knife here as well. Again, the end of a paintbrush can be a really good way of getting some different marks in. I also have this little um, compass here. So again, it's got a nice sharp point. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the compass and I'm going to try and capture some of these little um, highlights that I can see coming through in the texture of the pepper. Okay, Nat5, so I have finished using my compass. I also used um, the knife that I had sitting to the side. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to remove a section of my tile and I'm actually going to remove this middle piece so that um, it'll um, obviously stay white, yellow and black on my other sheets of paper. Again, this gives a bit of interest to it. It's also something that you can insert back into your stencil at a later date if you're not happy with the result. So there we have it National 5, that is me finished my first attempt at printmaking for the investigation part of the Expressive Portfolio. Um, as you can see I have my reference image that I've begun with um, and I also have my poly tile which again I can keep and I can do some more prints um, if I want to at a later stage. Um, some of the results have worked really well. We can see quite a lot of the texture coming through um, with our mark making. Um, again, some of the colour choices that I made didn't work as well. But again, remember, it's all part of the learning process. And um, always keep um, all the pieces that you do, even if they don't work, it shows that you've experimented and uh, you're able to evaluate on things that have worked well and things that haven't worked well for you.